Today we are diving in one of the most dramatic lighting effects in art and photography. Let's get ready to dramatize our photos. Chioscuro, which literally means light and dark in Italian, is a technique popularized during the Renaissance by artists like Carvaccio and Rembrandt. It's all about strong contrast, deep shadows paired with piercing light, creating depth, emotion and focus. In photography, this technique adds a bold, moody, cinematic look. It's quite common in movies, but also very common in fashion and product photography, as it is an excellent method to guide the viewer's eye. Using Affinity Photo, we can easily replicate it. There are a couple of ways of achieving this effect, and in today's video, we'll be focusing on a tinted variant. First, we start by duplicating our original image layer, so that we have a copy of our original. The next step is to convert our duplicate to black and white. This can be achieved in many ways, and I'll use my favorite method, which is adding a channel mixer adjustment, and then setting the output channel to gray. Let's also make sure that the adjustment is clipped to the duplicate by making it a child of the duplicate. On top of the channel mixer, we're going to add a levels adjustment. In the levels adjustment, we will adjust the black level slider until we have a nice contrasty image. Depending on your image, you might also need to adjust the white level and the other sliders. But for this image, setting the black level around 40% works quite well. As we are working non-destructively, we can always come back and adjust these values. The final adjustment I'm going to add to this duplicate is a brightness and contrast adjustment. To get that cinematic look, I'm going to lower the brightness to around minus 80% and then increase the contrast to around 30%. This creates a nice mystical look. We already got this very low-key looking image, but to spice it up, I'm going to add a fill layer on top of the duplicate with an orange-red fill color. I'll go back to the original image and press Command-D to make another duplicate. This time, I'll move this as a child to the fill layer we just created. Once it is a child of the fill layer, we need to set the blend mode of this duplicate to erase. This will basically clear the fill layer. However, if we go to the blend options and lower the highlights in the blend range for the underlying layer, we get a pretty cool effect. To finish the effect, you can set the blend mode of the fill layer to soft light for a soft tint of color, or to hard light to get that strong colorful contrast. Pretty awesome. As mentioned, we can go back to the previous adjustment and adjust the parameters to our liking, like the levels adjustment or the color use in the fill layer. If you want to get back the original color of the image, just make a duplicate of the original image and move this duplicate on top of the layer stack. By setting the blend mode of this layer to color, we get our original color back. Here are two examples where I have applied the same steps. In this image, I used the white for the fill layer to keep the image black and white. Notice how this effect removes all the distractions from the image and creates a more dramatic and emotional photo. Let's take a look at our final example before I leave you. This time, instead of using a solid color, I used a gradient for the fill layer, so that the right part of the image has a different tint. You also might notice that the fill layer is also masked. By using the mask, I was able to exclude the tint from the white shirt. On top of the main fill layer, I used a second fill layer, but this time with an inverted mask to slightly change the shirt color. Finally, to get the original colors back, instead of using the color blend mode, I used the average blend mode, which mixes the original image color with the tinted colors. The final result has a much warmer and more cinematic look. Hope you liked this video and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave and until the next video.